Hello everybody and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be showing you how to make a super stable drone in Trailmakers. So, here are the four things you're going to need in order to make your super stable drone. So basically, I have everything color coded here. So white is the power source, the red indicates the input to said power source, the yellow is the sensor indicating the vehicle's position in space and time, and the blue is an XOR gate. And this is all you need to build a super awesome and stable drone in Trailmakers. So, the way this works is the gimbal holds your creation in the air, the thruster allows you to move around, and these angles keep you upward, facing upwards and turning left and right. So, the gimbals, in order to keep you at a selected height and position, it uses this speed sensor that detects when your creation is moving down, and it sends a signal into the gimbal, telling it to turn on, sending us back up. And if you set it to a very low speed, I have mine set to zero, it will keep it in that exact position. The speed sensor detects when it is going downwards, and it sends a signal into this AND gate. But this AND gate will only fire when this is going into it, which I have an XOR gate set up into. So this distance sensor is constantly on using an inverted trigger and distance sent to zero, basically meaning that it is always on, and it runs into this XOR gate. And this other gate is to tell it when I'm sending it an input. So the way an XOR gate works is basically it says, if there's more than one input going into me, I will not send an output. So constantly there's one input being set into it, meaning that this AND gate is always on, allowing for the speed sensor to tell the gimbal to go. But if I'm holding another button, such as control to allow myself to go down, it will turn it off by sending another signal into the XOR gate, which will tell the AND gate to be off, allowing the creation to go downwards. This also applies to this other thing, so if I were to want to go forwards, I would have to disable the backwards thrusters because the speed sensor would be detecting that I am moving and try to negate it. So when I'm holding W, this would send a control into here telling it not to be on, allowing me to move around. And the gyro stabilizer is pretty self-explanatory. It will allow to keep your creation straight up and the gyro, it would be oriented like this in order to turn you left and right. So that's all you need to build a super stable drone. And this right here is my example. So as you can see, it has up and down on control is down and space is up. And the drone stays exactly where it is in space and time, just on its own, making it super stable and smooth. But when I want to go down, the gimbals turn off, allowing my creation to go down. And when I want to go up, they go up. Very simple. The same thing applies to all of the thrusters. So when I go forwards, the backwards ones turn off and I move forwards. And then when I let go of the key, they turn back on, and my creation brings itself to a complete stop. I also have set this up for left and right. So if I were to start going forwards and turn to the left, my creation will enable its other thrusters and cause it to come to a complete stop. The a and is controlled by the gyro on the bottom, and it is held in its upright position using three angle sensors on the front and sides of it, the creation. And that is all you need to make a super stable drone in Trailmakers. I will see you in the next one. Peace.